Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. With my wife and kids, we run an antique shop in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, filled with some of the most unique items we can find. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. I'm home, honey! Hey guys, welcome to today's episode. I am um, out today going to pick up a trailer because I have to go get um, three jukeboxes and two pinball machines out of a guy's basement. And I'm not really looking forward to carrying all that stuff up the stairs. Uh, my friend uh, Jim is going to come and help me out with a little bit of the heavy lifting. But uh, we're going to have this trailer hooked up and then uh, head into the guy's basement and um, show you what we got to move. This stuff here belongs to the envoy and then this belongs to the, to the trash can. Do you have any painter's tape that I could just write or... Uh... Or something we can mark what this stuff is for because I know that once I get these boxes loaded up I'm gonna forget that all this stuff went for that machine or the other one and this is the full house this is the one you're keeping Sorry. that's the pinball machine you want to hang on to for now yeah, that's, that's the one I'm keeping. but all this other stuff has got to go because it's a you know it's a single game and it's a card game which is collectible yeah Yeah, it's in good shape. Cowboys, band. So I like that the cards kind of rotate on it. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah, like I say, then, you know, you, you sort of get, a you know, three of a kind and you get, you know. Yeah, it's a good game. It's, uh, yeah, the glass is in good shape, too. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, I guess yeah. I've got my work cut out for me. I'm going to start hauling some of the... Uh, this is the one I'm most worried about moving up the stairs because I don't want it to get damaged or anything. Yeah. Well, if you have a dolly... I do then you know put it sideways and then put the strap around here yeah and uh, like i say it came down so okay uh, okay i'm gonna start hauling up this stuff I am getting beat. I've only got the two pinball machines and one of the jukeboxes up so far. There's still all the parts and two of the big jukeboxes left. Um, I've got my friend Jim coming over to help me to load some of the rest. Uh, so I'm gonna keep myself busy carrying parts up. Whew, I always forget how heavy pinball machines are until you start moving them up flights of stairs. <laughs> but hopefully it'll all be worthwhile. The back room of the store is gonna look amazing. Like a little arcade back there. I don't know what's more impressive, the fact that I got everything in the trailer or the fact that I parallel parked that trailer in front of my store. <laughs> yeah, I thought parallel parking the ambulance was tough. Try parallel parking a little trailer. Um, anyways, we're here. Sean isn't here yet, but I'm going to start offloading some of the small stuff and uh, make some room in the back for this all to fit. I'm hoping that there's room. Um, feel like there's room, but it's a lot more stuff than I remember. It's usually how this works. So this is my mess. My job right now is to take a wrench and try and put all these pinball machines back together. And as for the jukeboxes, well, before I left, I made sure the gentleman labeled everything so I knew what parts went with what machine. That'll be a project for another day. Now there is one more jukebox that I didn't feel like bringing in the store because frankly, I don't have room for it. I'm gonna take that home, try and fix it up in my garage. But for now, I'm gonna put these machines together and see exactly what they look like all done. Okay, I've got the old Chicago game set up here. I'm not gonna try and power it up yet until I have uh, Pinball Jim, my uh, pinball guy, come and have a look at it, make sure it's okay. But overall, the condition's not bad. Playfield has hardly any wear on it. Normally, you'd look to see all sorts of wear marks down where these cars are, but nothing. And then you go up to the top and you see it's got this uh, dramatic sort of gangster scene there. They're drinking martinis and they got their old cars or Duesenbergs, playing jazz music likely. 
Um, so overall, the machine's in really, really decent shape. It's just a matter of making sure that everything powers on. You can see there's a couple uh, rubber bits that need to be replaced. So I'll order a rubber kit online. There's places you can go to order replacement parts and a whole kit like that. It's probably only going to be about 20 bucks for every rubber piece on this machine. So I'll order that. This other machine, uh, the Guys and Dolls um, wooden body machine that I got there, I'm not going to assemble it just yet because um, the jet spin has sold and is getting delivered in about a week. So when that moves out of the way, I'll assemble it and get it going. So I went from having a big empty space to now uh, hardly any space. <laughs> But what a cool looking machine that AMI is. And that's called the, I think they call it the mother of plastic because of how much uh, ornate plastic is on it. But um, a little daunting to look at all the parts off of them right now, but I'm sure once we start piecing things back together, it'll come along nicely. A couple cool finds. Now I've got home and I decided to bring what they call the Seaberg trash can because it looks like a big trash can. I brought this home because it's going to need the most work to assemble. I didn't want to have to store all these parts at the store. And it'll give me something to work on over the next little while. So this will be my uh, my little project at home, trying to see if, how much of this jukebox I have. This is the grill, so there should be some cloth that goes on there. Well, it's going to take me a little while to get this done, but uh, with any luck, there'll be enough pieces to put together and uh, at least make it whole again the feeling that uh, the parts I am missing might be available online. So I'll do a little research there, but I have to go return that trailer because I don't want to be hooked up to that all day long. Well, I was getting a few funny looks here at the car wash. I guess they probably don't see too many people bringing 1940s jukeboxes into the car wash, but I figured since it was disassembled, I was about the only time I could probably get that thing this clean. So why not? Um, I'm gonna get it back home again and uh, pick up supper along the way. I'm spending some time in the garage now, just basically looking for the missing parts from this machine. Um, and they are everywhere. I found a few of the little bits and pieces. You just have to clean that up. But at least it's there. That goes here. And in this box, there's a little piece of glass. Fits in there. I'm sure that I'm going to find the majority of the parts. One thing I'm missing is the big plastic dome for the top, but they do remanufacture that. Oh, there's even the little gasket. At least he kept most of the items for it. And all these little screws in here, which I'm sure are gonna come in handy for piecing this thing back together. Have to figure out what goes where, but that might be a job for another day. That'd be a good uh, rainy or snowy day kind of project. But I'll get things laid out and I'll figure out where the bits go. I am not a pinball repair person. I don't claim to be an expert at this. I'm just gonna do my best to try and piece this all back together. Time, and I'm about to get a little bit of justice tonight. I'm here at the West Division Police Station where they have apprehended one of the people, one of the guys that broke into my store, and I get to go in and get some of my stuff back. And hopefully this guy will have a second thought before he breaks in and tries to do something like this to someone else. Well, a little disappointing. I didn't get the, uh, they found some sports cards on this guy. They weren't mine. He did have my straight razors though, and he definitely was one of the guys that broke into my store, but he's not given up his buddy yet. So mystery is not completely solved, and I think it probably will go a little bit deeper. Hopefully we'll get to the root of it, but at least I got a thousand dollars worth of straight razors. I put them down here somewhere. <laughs> I'm actually just at the police station right now. Look, dark in here, but thousand bucks in straight razors. Uh, 
so that that lessens the sting a little bit but i was hoping to get back the majority of my sports cards and the other things but sadly not the case and these guys are going to have a hard time selling anything because um well everybody knows on the after being on the news and stuff what they took so i think um <laughs> they'll probably give themselves up sooner or later uh when they go to sell this stuff and they get nabbed in the act anyway um been a busy day at least i have a couple projects like the jukeboxes to keep myself busy but for now we're going to keep on keeping on thanks for watching today's episode guys i hope you're all doing well and thank you to the edmonton police department for uh catching this guy red-handed uh with my stuff preventing him from breaking into another place hopefully we can uh, get some justice from this all so thank you guys so much hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you all soon bye for now